Well, this definitely would shape up as a very challenging political race if Jamani Williams, he makes a firm decision to run against Kathy Hochul, who narrowly defeated him in the lieutenant governor's race just three years ago. At the outset, Williams says he wants to make it very clear he's not running this to, to run against anybody, but he's doing it to run for something. In a tweet, the public advocate says his goal in public service is the fight for the people against injustice and inertia. What's wrong and what's stopping those in power from making it right? As our state works to recover from COVID and move forward from scandal, I'm exploring a run for governor to renew New York. Williams, a popular figure in New York's progressive circles, says his exploratory committee will help him determine whether or not to challenge Governor Hochul. On the job just four weeks, and already a declared candidate for next year's election. Democratic strategist Basil Smichel says he's not surprised Williams is considering challenging her. An opportunity for him to capitalize on, on his race a couple of years ago um, and do well in at least the same counties he was able to win last time. Lurking in the wings is the state's attorney general, Letitia James, who's reportedly privately discussing a potential run to be the nation's first black female governor. Tish James is a problem for who was ever in this race. Kathy Hochul is hoping that Tish James gets in the race to some extent because she needs the downstate votes to be split among Jamani and uh, Tish James so that she can spend more time upstate. With similar bases of support, it remains to be seen if Williams would bow out if James jumps in. So what would a campaign between the incumbent governor and the public advocate look like? He's going to be leaning on a lot of his progressive record, which does resonate in a lot of northern counties. But she is going to have the power of the office, the power of incumbency, short as it is. With the formidable potential Democratic candidates, how do the declared Republican contenders fare? Congressman Lee Zeldin, former Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino, and former Mayor Giuliani's son, Andrew. There's so much energy uh, brought on by the Trump phenomenon, anti-vaxxer phenomenon on the right, that you can't leave any stone unturned. Any slip up on our side, on the Democratic side, gives an opening to Republicans. Meantime, Jamani Williams says he'll be touring the state as he weighs his bid to run, and he intends to make a firm decision within the next month. So far, no reaction uh, to his announced exploratory committee from either Governor Hochul or Attorney General James. You can hear much more from Williams himself. He'll be a guest on the PIX11 Morning News tomorrow morning at 9. In the newsroom, I'm Marvin Scott.